Hey everyone, Michael Phoenix here. Uh, on my way back from the 30 year reunion for Allentown Central Catholic High School, class of 89 at the Shanyon 19th, and yes, that was the year I graduated. And initially, I really, I found out a thing, you know, Chris Pez informed me about it, I saw his post on Facebook, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna go or not. You know, you know how it is after after a certain number of years, you have your own life, you moved on it's, and everything. And I made to pretty much talk to myself into it last night. You know, it's now the reunion was on November 30th, 2019. So, and even, you know, Saturday evening, it started at 7. I figured, all right, I got to take off, you know, and uh, catch the 732, 736-102 over there. I still wasn't, there was still a small part of me that was like, yeah, don't worry about it, you know. You, you have other things to do, other priorities, but I can honestly say I'm glad I went. I had no idea what to expect because, you know, everybody remembers the high school years differently. But I went right off, I want to say, Chris has obscene level of thanks for putting everything together and give you an idea if you see if you look at the photos that it's cold out here <laughs> but to give you an idea if you look at the photos this wasn't your typical your stereotypical high school reunion where you know dinner for you know dancing you know everybody dressed gets dressed up in a suit or a tuxedo you know real formal think of it as more of a bunch of a bunch of friends old and new getting together after the after Thanksgiving and Black Friday, eating a lot, you know, doing their shopping and everything, and just getting together and saying, you know what, we're going to enjoy this holiday weekend for for a little bit, and we're just going to hang out, hang out and be ourselves. That was exactly what the reunion was, and it was perfect. You know, I my dress code is jeans, sneakers, you know, t-shirt and a jacket fit in perfectly I figure all right when I got there and eh, you know do what I did in high school stand up against the wall make myself invisible etc I mean I didn't even plan on doing an article and by the way the reason why it's in the holiday edition I'm about to tie in plus you know, it's not, it wasn't the time of year it was but got there and Chris being a phenomenal person he is, I'm not kissing ass in any way, this is the truth, made damn sure that I was do anything except stand against the wall and be invisible. You know, reintroduce me to people I graduated with, you start up conversations, photos, the whole, the whole deal. So, okay, plan A got scrapped real fast. As you can tell by my laughing, I was, you know, I'm very thankful that it did. But... <coughs> How this ties into the holiday edition and the holidays is I originally planned on being there about two, two and about two hours roughly when taking off. Well after I was there for about the first hour, I was I just stopped and looked around at everybody. You know. And for some strange reason, a line from an old holiday Christmas song came to my mind. Through the years, we all will be together. If the fates allow. And I actually chose to walk back, which took me about an hour. And the whole time I was walking back, every time I, that line just kept going through my head. And the reason why it's because this year, if you look at the holiday, if you listen to the holiday edition intro, I'm not into it this year, I'll be honest with you. You know, it's through, probably because of the media, probably because the retail starting in October, September and October, that I just, I'm not into it. I'm going to wrap this up right now. With, but because of the simple decision to go there and just being there, I 
completely forgot about my wife. I forgot about being out. The next book I'm working on, the media, everything. For a few hours, I should just be myself, not have to worry about it, anything, and enjoy the moment. Enjoy, just enjoy being there, enjoy the holiday season, enjoy being with people I was with. That's something I have not done in a very long time. So, a very, very special thank you to Chris Pez and every member of the class of 1989 who was at that reunion. Because of you, I was reminded what life and the holidays are really about. Thank you. Michael Phoenix, founder and staff of Surreal Real City. It's predecessor of Valley and Beyond. To everyone out there, whether you have family and friends or alone. Sometimes the simplest moments are the ones that mean the most. And the ones we never forget. Happy holidays.